<laughs> Will, big news today, Will. Does something there, happen today? Yeah, there was some big news. Carson, the Colts, traded Carson Wentz to Washington. Something we've been expecting to happen. Something we are trade. We were expecting some kind of trade. This is not the what we were expecting. This is not where we were expecting. Will, just what do you think, man? How, how are you feeling, man? Man, I mean, all offseason, they've been saying they're going to, the next guy's going to be QBX. Yeah. We have QBX, and it's QB1, Carson Wentz. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, shocked me. You know, I, I think they were they were kind of a little salty that they didn't get Russell yesterday. The fact that he said no, I yeah. think that that didn't sit well with them. Um, but Ron said all along he wanted a veteran. He wanted somebody to you know come in here and help out this team, and and so uh, they went and they went and pulled the trigger. Thank you to Ab because because I was not ready for that, and also we got the text that oh, I dropped everything. I was right. out of it for an hour. No work being done. I couldn't concentrate. And see, that's the thing. When I first saw it, and, and if you look at the tweet, he actually says the Colts traded him for a package of packs. And not, and so I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And, you know, Shefty's already kind of leery. We're already kind of second-guessing some of the things he says since the Aaron Rodgers and the Tom Brady reports that he brought out. So I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe this is not right. Maybe this is an April Fool's before April. Like, like yeah. is this really happening? But, yeah, once we did more research and found out it's really happening, it was just like, <sighs> now, Now, talk about the contract. What or, or Talk about – you know, what all entails it is in the trade. All right. So compensation was a third round pick this year, a, a third round pick next year with the chance for it to be a second round pick. If he plays in 70% of snaps Yeah. and both teams swap seconds. So we moved yeah. down in, in the second round. They got a chance to move up. Huh. Um, kind of seems like a lot for him. <laughs> Not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah, you know, somebody. One, that's... I said one thing I, I I pride myself on when we talk is you know as much as we love this this team right here, we're not afraid of kind of saying what we wouldn't have done what, what they did, and that right. sort of seemed like a little bit steep for someone that I wondered are they going to cut him? Right, right. It feels like we could have waited it out for then him to be a free agent at a certain point. And it was like, why did we get him so? And, and also, wait, don't we have to pay? Aren't we paying oh, the rest yeah. of his contract over there? Like, what is that about? That yeah, great, great point. Not only did we give up this compensation, some draft capital, we're taking on all twenty-eight million dollars of his contract. Now it is only a there's a, it's a one-year deal. He's mm -hmm. got three years left on his deal, but there's an out after after this year. So yeah. there is a chance that. This is a one year, you know, thing and then we move on. But that's a lot of money for the yes. position. Yes. That's a lot of money for a middle of the road quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what though? I think they panicked. They do too. I think I think the fact that last year Stafford said no. This year Russell Wilson said no to their to their offer. And then we're about to hit free agency and Pittsburgh needs a quarterback. Now Seattle's going to need somebody. Mm -hmm. There's talk that the Giants are going to go after Mitch Trubisky. Uh, New Orleans is, you know, is going to need a quarterback, whether that, you know, rumored trade goes through or not. And I think they started thinking the only way we're going to we're going to get our guy is if we make sure we get our guy, right? You know. And so I, I kind of think they might have panicked and said, okay, we've got to we got to go do this because I did hear this is just a rumor. Hmm. That the, the our initial offer to them was a fourth and a sixth round pick, and for it to, if it that's a lot to change if yeah. that's the case. But I ultimately, I really think that they uh, that they can. Uh, it's twenty eight mil five mil guarantee due by next week. Apparently, thank you for that, Delilah. And yes, Dallas fans are here, Commander Carson. Let's go. All right, Ash. Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him beat you. Don't let us beat you with Carson. Exactly. That's, that's all Commander I'm saying. Carson, you Commander just Carson. Wait. Yes. Don't let us beat you. Oh, my goodness. This is uh, – you know what? On one side of it, it does kind of go along with it. Shout out to Ab. The whole theory that he brought up uh, a, a, like a month or so ago, two months ago, 
where we talked about if we get a quarterback, just anybody, and then we can focus now on the draft. Focus on getting a quarterback in the draft that we know now can sit, and he's our Trey Lance. He's our secondary guy coming in. What's the first guy? I mean, if if the first if Wentz does good things, great. If you know, if not, we have our guy coming up in the wings where he doesn't have to start right away. Now let's focus on other things. I think that's one thing that I do think is good that it takes away the need to be like, oh, we're still. And I think a lot like, like what you were saying. Once we didn't get Wilson, didn't get Rodgers, didn't get Watson, didn't get all these people, it's kind of like we got to get somebody. And it's like we rush this guy. Let's get this guy. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. I mean, because if you think about it, if we draft somebody, whether it's a first round pick, second round pick, people are going to be wondering when is this guy getting on the field? Right. You know, but there is a chance with Carson here that people, the, the fans will listen to the team saying, be patient. You know, like what if they do what San Francisco did and say we draft a, uh, what'd she say? Sydney yeah. Sydney said I might need to leave the house. Yeah, he probably <laughs> would. It's yep. probably safer. Get a hotel. Yes. Just let, just let her out. have her time. Right. You know? <laughs> it would be great. It would be great. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's not an if, it's when, Sid. Thank That's... you. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Um... Take command, baby. <laughs> But no, I think there's a chance with Carson Wentz. Is, say you go after and you pick up a, a Desmond Ritter in the second or third round. You could sit here and say, okay, we're going to let this guy sit, you know, yeah. um, because we're going to let Wentz do it. But here's the other thing. Wentz is like, what, 29, 30? Mm-hmm. What if he finds what the magic he had in Philly right. in 2017? Right. Or is is a somewhat of that? I mean, honestly, right now, we're kind of joking like, oh, geez, we got this guy, you know, but compared to – Kirk, you know, he's our best quarterback since Kirk Cousins, who right. before that was our best quarterback since Brad Johnson. Right. Like, our bar is really low. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, and this is an improvement. And I think he's been really dimes, you know. Yeah, I, I agree. I would I, say you could make the argument as a football standpoint, go up, go toe-to-toe with Jalen Hurts as who's got who's got the number two quarterback in, in the NFC East. Right. And I'll, I'll say this one other thing. Carson Wentz probably would have won one or two more games for us last year. Think about that interception that Heineke threw against Philly. You know, think about some of those games in the beginning of the season. You know, the uh, the um, we did not play well against uh, called San Diego, the Chargers. Yeah, you know, he could be, he could have been a one to two game difference last year. What could he be this year? Just say glass half full sometimes. I understand. I understand. I understand. Look, believe me, if we get. The Carson Wentz that had Philly eleven and two going into that Rams game. Hey, he was an MVP candidate. He was dominating the league. We've seen what he's done to us. There has a significant difference after the injury and it's after a at long whole season. time ago. <laughs> right. that Carson exactly, Wentz. exactly. So it's a tale of two careers almost. We're gonna have to go ahead and see. But listen, ladies. 